<laughs> Hi, this is Baslift again. In my last desktop injection molding video, I used a resin 3D printed mold, which worked pretty well. I also learned a lot, so I've made some improvements to the mold and added something new. Big up by the way to Jim and Joel for featuring my last video on Hot Makes Live. I really enjoyed your reaction, guys. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I see. He puts That's it in the perfect. mold and then the, the molten plastic surrounds it. So it's embedded. Oh, That's even better. Oh, this, 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 there we go. That's perfect. Okay, so what did I change? First, I moved the gate, the point where the plastic enters the part through the runners, those little tunnels, you know, from model kids. I moved it to a more logical place on the top, following the shape of the part to make the plastic inject and flow more easily. And then I moved the air vents accordingly. Also the holes where the pin bags go are modeled into the mold now. Plus I wanted to up the productivity to two pins at once. Which automatically added the cool looking runners as well. The thing I was most curious about though was to see if I can replicate the ejector pins you see in industrial machines. Hopefully leaving those beautiful witness marks on the parts to give them that one more extra real life mass production factory look I've been wanting to be able to recreate since as long as I can remember. With the prices and capabilities of tools like 3D printers and DIY injection molders nowadays, I'm finally getting closer and closer to realize that dream without just adding it aesthetically. To make the ejector pins, I just cut off pieces of 4mm rod and glued them into a pusher piece I also 3D printed. Then the rods were glued in place with a spacer and the mold was ready to go. This is the first test with them, with a not yet fully filled mold, but with a very satisfying push out. <laughs> now let's just enjoy a few more of them. Look at all that detail and those beautifully cheap looking ejector pin witness marks. I love them. Like you could already see in my last video, I had some problems with my resin prints. I kept getting lots of holes in them. It took me a while to realize that the reason was a busted LCD screen, and while I was waiting for a new one to arrive, I just tried to position the prints so that I could still keep playing. These are some of the prints in Sariatech Sculpt. You can see it took me quite some tries to get halfway decent molds with the broken screen. This had nothing to do with the resin though. In the meantime, I'm also fiddling with a Fixer Upper Form 2 that I got for very cheap. And even though it doesn't print perfect yet, it does eventually finish the job. And with the mold printed in Formlabs' V4 Grey, I've gotten some very good injection results so far. I've also gotten very good results with Sariatech Fast on the far cheaper Elegu Mars. If you are interested in hearing more about the different resins that I've used, let me know in the comments, so I might make a future video about just that. Some of you might have already seen in a previous video that I have a shredder now, which makes things a lot easier than cutting everything by hand. And even though I'm not pretending to save the world here, I also don't want or see the need to use any virgin plastics, as there is more than enough plastic waste and filter 3D prints to go around to work with. I think it actually adds to the story of the end product. Here is a short sum up of my findings after using these new molds, which I will be implementing into my next projects. I've already made some more improvements to my mold making as well as my temperatures, but that's in one of those other projects which I will show you in a future video. So make sure you come back for that.
questions I've been getting a lot of questions about the resins that I'm using I will go into that more in an upcoming video as well plus I want to show you some other materials I've been using to inject with Thanks for watching, I hope to see you soon.